Phil here with a bit of an addendum, an additional video. Uh, in a recent video that I made about vacuum sealing without a vacuum, I used a heat source from a hair dryer to warm up the food within a bag to create uh, a higher pressure so that when the bag cooled down, it actually created a vacuum inside. Well, there's an additional method that you can use that I've been testing out uh, to, cr to warm up your bags without using a hair dryer, and that's with a kitchen oven. So I'm going to go over the procedures, and it works pretty good. I have here a whole bunch of uh, roast beef and pork tenderloin that just came out of the freeze dryer. So we're going to bag half of this cold and half of this with the oven method and then we'll see how this this turns out but it's a pretty simple procedure so here we go so I have here my four bags and two of the bags have roast beef two of the bags have pork tenderloin and so we're going to designate these two bags as being the cold bags and these we're going to let cool down the room temperature they're going to be kind of like our control bags and then these two bags this has pork tenderloin in this one and this is roast beef we're going to put these into the oven and heat them up now what we're going to do is we're going to put the oven on keep warm at the lowest setting so we're looking around 140 uh, degrees if your oven doesn't go that low well, go as low as possible, but no higher than 150. Once the bags are filled, we're going to go ahead and just stick them in an oven. Now my oven right now is 145 degrees. So we're going to let those stick those in there for, oh, two or three minutes while we fill and seal the other bags. While these are in the oven warming up, you can go ahead and do other things. Now, normally you'd have anywhere from three to four to five bags in the oven depending on the size of your freeze dryer. So while these are heating up you can get your oxygen absorbers ready. You can start bagging the first one and leave the other ones in here. As these become warm you can just go ahead grab one out and go ahead and bag it up. Now one thing you may notice is sometimes the top of the lip here might curl backwards. That's okay, that's just from the heat. So this is my first one. It's nice and toasty and warm. So we're gonna go ahead and put an oxygen absorber inside this and seal it up. While my other bags are in the oven, I can go ahead and seal up my cold bags. So I have my oxygen absorbers. So this is the roast beef. And this is my pork. So these are my two cold bags of pork sirloin and roast beef. And now that these are done, we'll go ahead and grab the bags that have been in the oven under keep warm at 145 degrees. Here's my next bag, nice and warm. So I'm going to grab one of my oxygen absorbers. Go ahead and put that in and fold this over all the way on itself to get as much air as I can out of this. And then I just take the top and just bring this up and go right above my tear strips and give it a seal and let it cool down just a little bit. So that's the first seal. And you can always tell if you have a good seal because you have the indentation of the fabric from the heating element. Now I'll seal this twice so I'll just flip it around on the other side and go right above my last seal and put my second one in. Give it a moment and there I go. So this is my roast beef and pork. Both of these were sealed with hot air inside 
And once these cool down, they'll start to create a vacuum and we'll see how they compare to the bags that were sealed cold. It's been two days later since we did the uh, test with the oven and heating up the inside of the bag before sealing it to create a vacuum through uh, atmospheric pressure cool down. And this is a roast beef. And just from looking at them, they kind of look like the same. But when you actually feel for the voids around the uh, one we put in the oven, there's less voids and things are just tighter against the meat inside. This is a cold one and you can fill more voids inside than this one. This is a pork sirloin, same thing. The bag that we warmed up before sealing is tighter than the one that was just put in through than the one that was just done at room temperature. So this process works. It, heating up the inside of the bag prior to sealing will void more atmosphere out of the bag because the atmosphere is thinner and then when that cools down it actually will create a vacuum. Now just to show you right after those loads I did a load of ham and some beets with the same method and this is so tight that you can actually see the rings of the beets through the bag. This is a real I mean this is really really tight and this is the ham and it's just ultra tight here. I mean you can just see how nice and compact these packages are. So I hope this has been helpful to you. It, using the oven is probably going to be easier than using the hair dryer. It all depends on which way you want to try. Both have benefits but this is something that can aid you in preserving your food and keeping it longer. So I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for your time. Please subscribe and we'll see you again soon.